In this video, we're going to learn how to extract quantities from the corridor using the Component Quantities tool. Component Quantities is a reporting tool that computes and reports the quantities of components in the corridor model. We also have the ability to assign unit costs to each material or component so that we can generate an estimated cost report. This tool is basically intended for approximate quantities and is typically used in preliminary design. The volumes that are calculated are using the average end area method and the accuracy of those quantities is determined by the template drop interval, key stations, and any critical stations used within the corridor. So let's begin. I have a completed corridor, so I'm going to go and set my workspace and my work set first, and we're going to open up my completed corridor model. So let's first go up and set our workspace. We're going to be using the training and examples workspace and we'll be using the training imperial work set so we want to select that make sure that's set before you start we're going to go over to the browse button and select the browse button we're going to browse to the corridor modeling quantities folder and locate the corridor london road so we got a completed corridor over here we're going to be working with so i'm going to open that up so i'm going to select open okay now once the corridor is open you'll notice i have some views already set up here for us and you can review the the drawing that we have here. So I have the 2D view set up over here in view number one. So here's our corridor in 2D. Then I have view number two set up for 3D. So our 3D model is over here in view number two. You can see the pavement and the cut and the fill. All that good stuff is in here. And then over here in view number seven, I have the dynamic cross section. So these three different views set up just so you can get an idea of what's going on with this particular corridor. So this first step we're going to use the component quantities tool to extract and compute some quantities from this London Road corridor. So to create the component quantities we're going to go to the home tab come over to corridor reports and go to component quantities. It's going to prompt us to locate the corridor so we're going to go and locate our corridor by just selecting it. It's going to go through and do a little bit of processing and you'll see once the component quantities window comes up uh, we have some quantities in here. So let's begin and take a look at the layout of this particular window. So over here on the left we have our materials or our different components that are part of the corridor. We have our areas listed. We have our volumes. We have our units. We have our unit costs. And then we have our total cost per material. Now the total cost per material can be adjusted um, by changing the unit costs. So if you know what your unit cost is for your materials, you can just simply come in here and key in different costs and the total cost per material will adjust. So we can come in here and just select a couple of these, change these, and you'll notice how the total cost per material changes as well as the total estimated cost for the particular corridor. So this is a good way to get an approximate quantity report and an estimated cost report of your corridor. Now one thing to note when you do use component quantities it does not consider any clipping so if the corridor has been clipped in some way it's not going to take into account any kind of clipping so I just want to make a note of that. So this is just the basic report window that comes up when you first use the tool. Now we can also get a more detailed report by going and selecting the report button here. So I'm going to go and select the report button and the civil report browser will come up and now we have a corridor model component quantities report and notice we have the corridor name listed at the top and then this is also broken down by station okay and it lists all the materials per station as well as the unit costs and if you scroll through and take a look you can see it has a very detailed information based on the template drop interval as well as any key stations or uh, critical sections that are defined in the actual corridor. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see that we have the totals there and it also creates our total estimated cost report. So this is very useful for finding approximate quantities and an approximate um, cost of your 
of your project or your corridor. I also notice it's, it's calculating the cut and fill volumes and the cut and fill volumes are based on the average end area method as well as the other volumes listed in the report. So once you're done reviewing the report, let's take a look at how we can review some of the cut and fill volumes on the dynamic sections. So I'm going to close this civil report browser. I'm going to close the component quantities tool. I'm going to come over here and left click in my view number seven in my cross section view to make that active. And sometimes it's necessary or sometimes it's a good idea to review your cut and fill volumes on the cross sections just to verify the quantities in the report. So if we come up here and go to the view properties, toggle on display cut fill graphics, as well as display cut and fill values. So I'm going to toggle that on. And you'll see we get some cut and fill volumes here as we navigate through the cross sections as well as the cut and fill graphics. And like I said, this is just to uh, help verify or graphically visualize the cut and fill areas as well as the cut and fill values. So you can just navigate through the cross sections and you can see the cut and fill areas are being displayed on the cross sections. And once you're done navigating through the cross sections, we'll just go and undisplay the cut and fill graphics and the cut and fill values. So we'll just go back up the properties, toggle those off, and then go back to the beginning of the cross sections. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.